Good evening guys and welcome back to another episode of PA Street Scene. Hope you guys are all having an amazing December. Christmas is right around the corner and with that said, for any of you that have been following my channel or my Instagram, um, it means it's that time of year and it's time to do the Christmas lights again. Um, I won't bore you this year with uh, the process of getting one there. If you want to see how we've done that in the past, um, you can go to one of the older videos and check it out. We've done it the last two years in different versions. Um, I'll turn you around in a second to show you what's going on with it. And uh, we can keep this video kind of short. At the end of it, I do want to talk about something pretty important. But with that said, let's take a look at the car. So as you can see, the lights are turned off right now just so you can get a good idea of how many lights are on this thing. It's about 4,000 lights. And it's all held on with duct tape. I'll get you up really close. Now this is our first year we did it over top of the wrap. Usually I just do it on bare, bare paint with black duct tape because the car is Black Magic Pearl underneath. Um, it is a 2004 Volkswagen Golf R32 in Black Magic Pearl. But this year we have the Jawbreaker wrap on it. So I figured we would wrap over that because it's probably time to uh, get that changed up in the spring anyway. So. With that said, I'll turn the lights on so you guys can see what it looks like. There's two different settings. There's one where we can just have it white lighting, which is pretty cool because it picks up on the splatters and the wrap, and it makes the lights look like they're kind of that color. And then when we turn everything on, you get uh, white lights and full color RGB lights. So here it is, just without the lights on. All right, and here's the car with just the white lights on. As you can see, we have full 360 coverage. Like I said, you can see on the pink areas, the lights are kind of reflecting the pink. The yellow, you're getting some gold cast. And here, even though the LEDs are the white cool tone, you're also picking up on some of that blue. And it looks pretty cool as is with the white lights. And this is my first time doing white lights on this car. We usually just do colors, but I wanted to try it out. And honestly, I think the addition of the white lights make it look, makes it look a little bit more Christmassy. But uh, we'll take you back over to the corner. We'll do another swipe. And we'll give you the full show. Alright, and there we have it. The full entire effect. We've got all four strands of lights going. Each strand is a thousand Christmas lights. And we have a total of four for a total of 4,000 lights. Each side has a strand of white. Each side has a strand of colors. We also were able to get the underglow working on the car. I've been having some issues with the control module for it. Um, I think it overheated because the VR6 does put off a lot of heat under the hood. So we got a new one of those. Everything seems to be working great. And yeah, so you can see all the colors are on. Of course, I did it with duct tape again because it seems to work. It's hard to focus this camera right now. There we go. But yeah, we'll see how it holds up. We'll see what it does to the wrap. This is the liquid wrap that was done by John down at Mountain Joy at Liquid Wrap Labs. So we'll see how it holds up to the duct tape. But I'm going to give you guys some beauty shots here in a moment. I did want to give a quick shout out to my dad who helped me with this. Um, it took us a total of eight hours continuous. And for almost that entire eight hours, he sat cutting strips of duct tape. So I'm super grateful to him for doing that. Um, I really think it turned out awesome. And uh, this is the third year we've done the Christmas lights on this car. However, this year I wanted to do it for a cause. So if you see on the side here, we do have a business Venmo account set up. And we are raising money to uh, help kids in foster care have a better Christmas this year. Um, basically all the proceeds from this, from taking it around to different events, taking it to different uh restaurants and things like that i've been driving it as much as possible 100 um, percent of the proceeds from that are going to go to the families united network which helps kids in the central pennsylvania area dealing with uh, adoption and going through the foster care system um, and we're going to donate all of the money and we're also going to be having a toy drive to try and just make their christmas a little brighter um, going through foster care is not always the happiest of situations so we really want to do everything we can to make it better so if you have Venmo and you have a couple dollars to spend um, that you would like to donate, it's Venmo at P-A-S-S -S underscore Kids Xmas. You can see it right here. P-A-S-S -S for P-A Street Scene underscore Kids Xmas. And like I said, 100% of the proceeds will benefit that organization. They're incredible. Uh, one of my best friends actually works for them and has been doing 
incredible work. It takes special people to do what she does, and I'm so glad to be able to help any way I can. So with that said, thank you so much. Um, if you're in the central Pennsylvania area on December 18th at Trindlebull in Mechanicsburg, we will be having Stuff-A-Dub, where we're actually going to fill the car with money and toys for this, um, and then two days after that we'll be turning it in to the organization. So if you're around, you can come hang out. We have a live band coming. We're going to have bowling. It runs from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. on the 18th. It's going to be awesome. We'll have the car there. I'll be there. So hope to see you then. Again, a huge shout out to my dad for his help with this. Couldn't have done it without him. And uh, with that said, let's give you some beauty shots of the car. Thank you so much. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. We have other uh, videos coming. I'm going to do the drive through video. And we're also going to do a short deep dive on how I route the lighting and stuff because people always ask about how I route it and how we power it so we'll do that as well. So with that said, happy holidays, merry Christmas, and I'll see you next time.